Sally and today we're going to crochet this cute heart charm. Now let's get on to the tutorial. So for this heart charm, you guys will just be needing two colors. But for this tutorial, I decided to use three colors. So I will be using magenta, light blue, and also yellow. So the crochet hook that you guys will be needing depends on the size of the heart charm that you guys want to make. So let me explain it to you a little bit. So this is the big size of the heart charm and this is the smaller version. Let me just compare it together. As you can see, this is smaller and this is the big one. So to make the big one, you will be using 4.0 crochet hook. But for the smaller one, you will be using 3.5 milliliter hook. So I also forgot to tell you that the yarn that I'll be using is a 5 ply yarn. And if you decided to use different yarn than me, you can just adjust the crochet hook size accordingly. We're going to go ahead and get started by making a magic ring. So you are going to hold onto the end of your yarn with your thumb, then wrap it around your two fingers. Kind of like making an X shape and now use your ring finger to hold onto the yarn. Now you have the first loop and second loop. Now you're going to take your crochet hook and insert it through the first loop and grab onto the second loop and twist it up like this. Now grab onto your yarn and chain one. Now release it from your finger, now you have your magic ring. So now we already chain one and now we're going to be chaining two more. So one and two. Now we have a total of three chains. So now we have to go ahead and insert seven double crochet into the magic ring. Now you're going to yarn over and insert your hole into your magic ring. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now this is how I like to hold the magic ring because it just gives me more control over it. This will create some tension so that the double crochet looks even. Now we are going to go ahead and insert the double crochet until you have a total of 7 double crochet in your magic ring. Now this is your chain 3 and starting from here, you have a total of 7 double crochet. Now, you're going to chain 1. Take your scissors and cut your yarn. Okay, so the chain 1 is so that you can fasten off your work so that it doesn't move. You're going to pull the magic ring, but just don't cross it off completely because you are going to insert one single crochet later on in the magic ring. So just leave a little bit of space like this. Okay, so I'm going to explain it to you a bit on how, where you're going to insert the double crochet. So, this is your stitch, right? Like, the V shape is your stitch. But, when you open up the double crochet, you can see that in between the double crochet, there is some space right here. Let me just open up it, the next one right here. So, that is where you're going to insert your double crochet. So basically in the video, if I said that you're going to insert the double crochet in the space, meaning you're going to insert the double crochet into the space right here. But if I said you're going to insert a double crochet in the stitches, basically you're going to insert it right here. So make sure that you guys stay not on this. Because if you guys don't really understand this part, then your heart charm is going to be a little weird. So make sure you guys stay not on this. Taking the next color that you guys want to use, you're just going to insert your hook in the space in between the double crochet, in between the two double crochet right here. And with your next color, you're just going to make a loop like this and put it onto your hook. And I'm just going to hold the end of the yarn at the back like so, so that I have more control over it. Now you're just going to pull up a loop and pull all of the yarn to the front. Now you're going to tie a knot with this yarn. So you can work over the end of this yarn so that you don't have to weave it in later. So just hold on to it like this at the side and work over it. Now insert your hook into this space and you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to go ahead and chain 3. So 1, 2 and 
tree. So this will count as our first double crochet. Now in the same space, you're going to insert two double crochet. Open. And two. Then you're going to chain two. Open. And two. And then insert three double crochet into the same space. You guys can pay attention on how I hold my project. I hold it in the middle like this because this will just give you some more control when you work over the double crochet. This is just how I prefer to hold them. And now three. So we now have two sets of three double crochet. This is the first set and this is the second set. Now in the magic ring where we left some space in the middle we are going to insert one single crochet so just insert your hook in the middle and we're going to carry the end of the magic ring with you as you walk over the single crochet so to make a single crochet you're just going to grab onto your yarn and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through to like so now we're going to close off the middle of the magic ring by pulling the end so you're just going to hold the middle of the magic ring and you're going to pull the end until there is no more hole in the middle of the magic ring so now there is no more space in the middle so this is our chain three and this one is our double crochet so we're going to insert three double crochet into the same space in between of the chain three and double crochet go ahead and yarn over and insert your hook through the space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and pull through two loops so just continue your double crochet two and three now you're going to chain two and insert three double crochet into the same space. Two and three. Now we have one, two, three, four sets of double crochet. Now you're going to insert three double crochet into the next space. So just insert your hook into the next space and make three double crochet two and three now we're going to skip two double crochet and make three double crochet in the next space now skip two and insert your hook in the next space right here and make three double crochet one and three then chain one and then insert three double crochet into the same space right here so just insert three double crochet one two and three now I am going to skip two double crochet and insert three double crochet into the next space right here. So skip two and insert the three double crochet in the next space. One, two, and three. So now by the end of this round, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sets of three double crochet. Now we're going to slip stitch into the chain three right here. So this is your first chain, second chain, and third chain. So we're going to insert your hook into your third chain and then yarn over and then make a slip stitch so just pull up a loop and pull through the loop that is on your hook then i am just going to pull this slip stitch a little bit and then you're going to chain one to fasten off this round then cut your yarn 
and pull through just pull your yarn so that the chain one is tight enough like so now this is how yours should look like by the end of this round now by taking your next color you're going to insert it through the chain two that we did in the last round so insert your hook into the chain two right here and then make a loop like this and put it onto your hook and then you're going to pull the yarn through and make a knot Then I'm just gonna bring the end to the side so that I can walk over it like this. Then with your hook, you're just going to insert it in the same space and then you're just going to chain three. Then you're going to insert two double crochet into the same space. One and two. And then you're going to chain two and insert three double crochet into the same space. One, two, and three. So you're going to skip two double crochet right here. One and two and insert three double crochet into the next space right here so skip the two double crochet and insert your hook into the next space and make three double crochet one two and three then we're going to make one single crochet so you're not going to insert the single crochet into this stitch right here but instead you will insert the single crochet in the middle of the single crochet right here so as you can see the single crochet kind of have this v shape right you're going to insert your hook in the middle of the v shape and like this and then we're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the two loop. Then we're going to make three double crochet in the next space right here. So make three double crochet. One. Two. And three. And then in the chain two spaces right here, you're going to insert three double crochet. One, two, and three. Then chain two and insert three double crochet into the same space. One, two, and three. So for the next three sets of three double crochet, you're going to skip three double crochet right here. So first, you're going to skip the three double crochet right here, one, two, and three, and insert three double crochet into the next space right here. So skip one, two, three, insert your hook into the next space, and make three double crochet. One, two, and three and then skip three double crochet again one two three and insert three double crochet in the next space so one skip one two three and insert three double crochet into the next space one two and three again skip the three double crochet and insert three double crochet into the next space one two and three now you're going to chain one and insert three double crochet in the same space one two and three 
Now for the next two sets of double crochet, you're just going to continue the same step as this side. So just skip three double crochet and insert your three double crochet in the next space. Again, skip this three double crochet and insert three double crochet in the next space. One. Two. And three. So now this is your chain three. So basically this is the first chain, second and third. So you're going to insert your hook in the third chain and make a slip stitch. Again, I'm going to pull the slip stitch a bit. Then you're going to chain one. And then a cut for yarn and a push. Now we're just going to tighten up the chain one so that it's nice and tight like this so that it won't move around. Now taking your next color, we're going to insert your hook into the chain two space right here and then make a loop with your next yarn and put it on top and pull through like so and make a knot so this is basically the same step as before so insert your hook and now you're going to be chaining three so one two and three now we're going to insert two double crochet into the same space so just make two double crochet one and two now we're going to make six double crochet in the stitches so instead of making the double crochet into the space right here we are going to make the double crochet in the stitches right here as you can see there is kind of like some v-shape on top so that is your stitches also make sure that you don't miss the first stitch it's not going to be as visible so make sure that you get that too so insert your hook into the first stitch and make the first double crochet so you are going to have a total of six double crochet on top so this is our first double crochet two three four five and six now when you reach the middle part right here we're going to make one single crochet in the middle of the last round single crochet basically this is the v-shape we're going to insert your hook through the middle of the v-shape and make one single crochet now you're going to make six double crochet again so insert the first double crochet in this first stitch right here so this is the first double crochet two three four five and six now in the chain two spaces you're going to insert six double crochet so just insert six double crochet in the same space two three four five and six now you can see that i have some space right here beside the one set of three double crochet this is the first set and then one space second set second space third set and third space so what i'm going to do is i am going to insert three double crochet in each of the spaces until the end of this round however when you reach the center you are not going to insert three double crochet only i am going to show you once we have reached the center
again in the next space right here insert three double crochet one two and three again in the next space insert three double crochet one two and three but then when you reach the middle part right here what you're going to do is you're going to insert three double crochet one two and three and then you're going to chain one and then insert three double crochet again into the same space one two and three now you're just going to continue inserting three double crochet in each of these spaces and it is going to be the same exact step as this point right here so i'll see you once you have done three sets of three double crochet now that you have done three sets of three double crochet in the next space where we did the chain three and two double crochet earlier in the round we are going to insert three more double crochet into the same space so insert three double crochet into the same space one two and three now we're going to make a step stitch in the chain three then chain one and cut your yarn now pull through and tight in and tighten up the chain one like so so now this is how the heart shape should look like by the end of this round so I was thinking that I was going to use the light blue for this hair crochet but I feel like the white kind of look nicer so I am going to use the white yarn so first you're going to insert your hook into the stitch where we first insert our slip stitch this is the stitch right here so I'm just gonna insert my hook through this and then with your yarn just make a loop like this and put it on top of your hook and then make one chain so the trick for this is you have to hold the end at the back and work over it as you make the single crochet this is really important so that your single crochet will not unravel later on now in the stem stitch you're going to insert one single crochet now we're going to make eight more single crochet so just continue making one single crochet So by the end of this, you're going to have a total of 9 single crochet. 4 5 6 7 8 And 9 So once you have reached this middle part right here, we're going to make a strap. I am just going to show you how this strap looks like so this is how mine looks like so for this strap you're just going to chain how long you want the strap to be for me i am going to be chaining 64 that is just how long i prefer it to be so this is completely up to you then later on when you did the front piece for the heart charm you're going to make the little strap so that you can insert the long strap into it so that all of your things is going to be secure inside then for this part you are not going to be chaining how long you want it to be or chaining 64 but instead you're going to chain three that is just how long it's going to be so now i am just going to be chaining 64 one two three four so once you have done chaining for your strap you're going to skip this stitch next to it right here and instead you're going to make one single crochet in the next stitch so insert the hook and make one single crochet now you're just going to continue inserting one single crochet until you reach the middle part right here So 
So once you have reached the middle part right here, you're going to insert one single crochet in this space. Then you're going to chain one and insert one more single crochet in the same space. Now you're just going to continue inserting one single crochet until the end of this round right here. And for your information, this one right here is your last stitch while this one is not. This one is your slip stitch so you're going to ignore that. You're not going to insert the single crochet in the slip stitch right here. The next stitch is not going to be as visible so make sure that you insert one single crochet in there too. Now just keep making one single crochet until the end of this round. So now once you're done, you're just going to cut your yarn and pull through. So now we're going to make an invisible joint. So just take your darning needle. So to make an invisible joint, you're going to insert your needle through the first single crochet of this round and pull through. And then insert your needle again through the back loop only of the single crochet stitch right here. Then we're going to adjust the invisible join a little bit so that the invisible join looks similar to all of the single crochet stitches. Then you're going to insert your needle through the invisible join that we just did. Then insert your needle again through the stitch right next to it. Now I am going to show you how to hide in the ends. So you're just going to turn your work to the back and now you're just going to insert your needle through the back of these stitches. So you're just going to go through multiple stitches like this and then pull through. Then I'm just gonna skip this one stitch right here and go through the same stitches at the back. then pull through all of it and release your running needle and take your scissors and you're just going to cut the remaining yarn as close as possible now you're going to do the same thing for the remaining ends at the back and i'll see you once you're done now you're going to crochet one more of the hard piece for the front side and after that i'll show you how to slip stitch at the front and join them together so once you have done we're going to insert a slip stitch at the front part of this hard charm so this part is totally optional you guys can choose whether you guys want to do it or not but i just think it's accentuate the heart shape more which is why i love to do it and i feel like it just looks so much better with the slip stitch on top so you're just going to insert the slip stitch into the stitches that we use to insert the single crochet in the last round so basically you're just going to use the single crochet as your guide so just insert it right here right here right here right here so you're just going to insert it all around so first you're just going to insert your hook anywhere you would like beside this part and this part so i'm just going to insert my hook now take your yarn and make a slip knot so just make a loop like this twist your yarn and take your yarn put it on top and pull through from the back so that is how you're going to make a slip knot now just insert it through your hook and tighten it up so your working yarn will always be placed at the back side of your project while holding the end like this so that you have more control you're just going to pull through the slip knot to the front now insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop and slide it off through the list on your hook so that is how you're going to make the slip stitch so now you're just going to continue making the slip stitch until the end of this round Now when you reach the middle part, you're just going to insert it at this stitch right here. Now you're just going to continue inserting one slip stitch in every stitch until the end of this round including the sensor. So when you reach the middle space right here, you're just going to insert one slip stitch in the space and continue inserting one slip stitch 
in all of these stitches right here now i'm inserting my last slip stitch because as you can see that is my last single crochet so that basically means this is going to be my last slip stitch because we use this single crochet as our guide now you're going to cut your yarn and pull through now with your darning needle we're going to make a fake slip stitch right here so first you're going to insert your needle through the first slip stitch that we did and pull through then you're going to insert your needle through the middle of the slip stitch right here and pull through from the back now you're just going to weave in the excess two yarns right here and you're just going to repeat the same step for the front piece and i'll see you once you're done so once you're done this is how the back piece looks like and this is the front piece so it's okay if your work looks wrinkly like mine because we are going to block the shape later on and i'll show you at the end of this video so right now we're going to join them both together like this so to join them both together you're going to need two stitch marker or you can just use a bobby pin or anything that works so first we're going to count eight stitches at the top of this front piece so starting from the first single crochet so this is this stitch right here so we are going to count eight so one two three four five six seven and eight so this is the eighth stitch we're going to mark this stitch right here and then we're going to count eight stitches again starting from the first single crochet right here so this is the stitch one two three four five six seven and eight now we're going to mark the eighth stitch so we're going to do the same as the back piece so we're going to count eight stitch one two three four five six seven eight so this is the eight stitch so now we're going to combine them together and when combining them together you have to make sure that the front is facing the right way then i'm just gonna take the front piece and put it together like this then you're just going to open up the stitch marker and mark the eight stitch for the back piece now we're going to do the same thing at this side one two three four five six seven eight right here now open up your stitch marker and insert this stitch through it like this so this two stitch marker right here is going to indicate your starting point and end point when joining these two pieces together so make sure that the front piece is facing you while the back piece is facing at the back so when joining these two pieces together you are not going to be inserting your hook through both of the stitches like this but instead what you're going to do is you're going to insert it through the back loop of the front piece and also the back loop of the back piece like this Now we're going to make a slip knot and insert it through your hook and tighten it up and pull through the two loop. So now we're going to make a slip stitch all around until you reach the stitch marker right here. So I like to hold the end like this so that I have more control over it. So insert your hook through the back loop only then make a slip stitch it is going to be a little tricky to insert the two back loop into your hook so what i usually do is i use my nails to insert it through my hook so you're just going to repeat this step which is inserting one slip stitch all around until you reach the stitch marker at the end so now once you have reached the stitch marker right here you're just going to now you're just going to open up the stitch marker and make the last slip stitch then you're going to chain one to fasten it off and cut your yarn and pull through now what you're going to do is you're just going to hide both of these ends inside of the heart charm 
So you're just going to use your darning needle and bring the end inside the heart charm and weave it in. So I'm going to do this off camera and then we're going to block the shape together. Before we block the shape, make sure that the long strap is in the hole at the front. Then you have to make sure that it is wet, not soaking wet but just damp. So I'm just going to use my spray bottle and spray it until it is damp. You have to make sure that you spray the front and also the back. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can just soak it in a bowl of water and just wring it out. Make sure that it is not soaking wet before we iron it. Then take your iron or steamer. I'm just going to use my steamer here and just steam it lightly making sure that you don't press too hard because you don't want it to be too flat then after you iron the front you're going to flip it to the back and then you're going to iron the back too finally just let it cool down and when it's not hot you are finally done thank you for watching